All righty, ladies and gentlemen, some of that late night half ass wrestling talk there, Raw and SmackDown combined together there. Um, Raw, we had Drew McIntyre um, fighting Dolph Ziggler. He defeated him, beat him up after the match there. You know, <laughs> they want to push McIntyre. He's going to the new level. Personally, I find it boring, you know, especially during the matches when he stops there. Don't quit, Dorf! Don't quit on me, Dorf! Fight me, Dorf! It's, it's just fucking lame, corny, and boring. Just a horrible talker and actor, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I mean? I understand he might have looked better than other people in TNA, but everybody in TNA are bums. It is what it is. <laughs> you know, McIntyre, to me personally, a bit boring, you know. Um, we had the Apollo Crews winning a second chance battle royal, so... Basically, a bunch of bumps getting a second chance there. And Apollo Crews won this match. And he got a shot at the, the Intercontinental title. Why? Who fucking knows? They tried to push this guy before. It was Jobber City. And now they're trying again or whatever. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Is this their idea of fresh faces, their Apollo Crews, and guys like this, their, you know, the ratings are going to get even lower. Ambrose beats him in the match, whatever, it's a fresh match, or whatever, there. Um, and then the main event, another Natalia main event. It's Natalia in the main event, like four or five weeks in a row. No wonder the ratings are going down the toilet there. For the love of God, what is this shit? And do they have to have Diva main events every week there? You know what I mean? Pretty soon the men are going to need the movement of equality themselves there in, in WWE. So yeah, I was just bored throughout Raw. They're just boring. Uh, Smackdown a bit better tonight. Not great, but a bit better. Um, for some reason, they're pushing this Mustafa Ali guy on SmackDown. You know, I have no idea why. You know, just some guy in in the Cruiserweight show, 205 Live, that nobody watches. They just randomly take one of these bums there. And he's being uh, fast-tracked. To the main event scene on SmackDown, the midget that nobody cares about. <laughs> you know what I mean? What the fuck is that, dear? No clue what this is, but this guy is in the fatal five-way match. And AJ Styles wins. Um, no rematches for the belts, but it's all the same guys getting rematches anyways, so... It is what it is there. Um, what else happened on SmackDown? You had a fucking horrible skit with the New Day to kick things off there. Big E looking gay as fuck, you know what I mean? You had Big John Cena, that was something on SmackDown, coming back. And they have Becky Lynch come out. Acting like a big shot with Cena or whatever, which is lame as a motherfuck, you know. She's going to take over as the star of the company. Shit like this, you know. People aren't going to care about this girl in two weeks there. This whole nerd fad is going to fucking end quick, you know what I mean. Maybe not quick, quick there, but what a fucking joke this is there. Looking back on this, Becky Lynch telling Cena that she'll be the new face of the company. 
what the hell kind of nerd garbage has this federation become there. But anyway, it's Cena and, and Becky against Andrada Cien Almas and his girlfriend, the Mexican girl there. John Cena won. <laughs> Becky Lynch throws him out of the ring <laughs> and gets the victory. Very nerdy, Lynn John. Very nerdy there, but, um, you know, it was better than Raw, I guess. So, yeah. Horrible Raw, boring Raw, and a decent SmackDown. Big John's going to be there next week on Raw or whatever. You know, he might fight uh, some fucking 205, like, 205 live cruiserweight himself there. Have sex with cruiserweights or something on Raw there. Some fresh faces there. Until next time. Peace. <laughs>